Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now if you've been familiar with the Jeep Cherokee brand, Jeep in general you've been familiar with but first of all sorry about the, the dirty car because look at that, look at that, that's a sandstorm, it's like a mini sandstorm. Anyways, so sorry about the dirty car because I've been doing a bit of off-roading as well in this car and so far it was kind of okay but anyways we are going to come to that as well but let's start showing you off the the entire exterior first and then we'll go around with the whole video let's start now first of all this is a Jeep Grand Cherokee S Limited now it's one of those special cars from the Jeep uh, version the Grand Cherokee version where they've spooled up a bit few things here and there in terms of engine in terms of aerodynamics I'm going to be coming up to all of that and also let me tell you this color is just fantastic it's a wine red color and in during this bright day sunlight it just looks amazing anyway starting off with the front so this the the pretty similar design compared to the standard uh, Cherokee but you can see there's a graphite uh, coating around these uh, these grills and that makes it look a little more meaty a little more muscular and then you get the standard DRLs and uh, the halogen lamps which are the, the normal halogen lamps that you get in your cars and there is also an LED fog lamp and moving around there is this camera out here now that camera is used for the adaptive cruise control and that works pretty well as well in terms of uh, the, the other adaptive cruise controls that I've tested and this one works really well in fact it also breaks for you during the the the, the signal when your traffic stops and uh, it also controls the speed the length of the, the the car lens that you want and also also when it stops at the signal it will ask you to take over the control but it is right from the start till the end it just always keeps the control and it works really well and also there is a lane assist feature which is also controlled you are using this camera as well and where moving around there is on the hood you can see now this car has been inspired from a Dodge SRT and because of that you would find the similarities in the hood as well the bonnet or the hood whatever you call it but in the bonnet you would see these two scoops now the idea behind that is to make it more aerodynamically efficient and when you drive inside you would see the whole computer changing switching you from the off-road to the aero package and what happens is the air enters from here and it goes out from here and basically that creates a very swooping lines in terms of the the smooth aero package and also similarly out here and also it helps in cooling those radiators and giving them more and more of air moving on to the sides you get 19 inch alloy wheels which are again graphite coated the styling remains pretty much the same in terms of the standard uh, uh, Shiroki and again as you can see from the side there are big fat shoulders that you can see are going across onto the bonnet and this is how the air, air flows from here flowing all over the car and swooping back uh, at the tailgate and then you get these Grand Cherokee badges which are also graphite covered and you get keyless entry system smart keyless entry system so you can have your key in your pocket and it will just unlock the car for you on its own and continuing you get uh, the side mirrors now the side mirrors are a bit too small to my liking because you really can't see much from them barely a car on your side and because of that they do have the blind spot warning system but to be honest i i wish they had made a little broader or some, something more like a concave kind of more more into the mirror where you could see a lot more going on from the mirrors themselves and they are power foldable by the way and then continuing at the back you get the 19 inch rims again now at the back the, the the shape is pretty much similar to the standard jeep shiroki that you find the grand shiroki but you get the the graphite covered jeep logo and also the 4x4 logo and also the s which denotes your your jeep is an s limited the grand shiroki s limited version and also you get the spoiler and that is a sunroof which is panoramic and one thing i forgot to mention was that the front glass and the passenger side glass and the driver side glass and also the panoramic, uh, panoramic sunroof is also covered in an uh, UV light protection layer and also soundproofing 
protection layer so that is quite visible when you drive the car anyways moving on there is a big boot to greet you now the boot is open using a button which is right under the this this handle or also using the key you can operate it like open and close both the functions are available using the key and inside you get a ton of storage which is about 730 liters of storage inside and the the first bit to which is really cool is that there is no lip out here so when you slide your luggage in and out it it is not going to scratch any of the body parts or and also there is a plastic trim out here on the bumper as well so you won't scratch your bumper or the paint as well and you get a subwoofer as well now this system, the car comes with a nine speaker system and also a subwoofer and there is this partition as well the seats are 60 40 divided and inside now jeep has been really clever in terms of uh, providing with different options in the boot as well and you get these hooks out here where you can tie your shopping bags as well and there is also a 12 volt charging plug as well now there are two lights in the in the tailgate itself the the door so you you would find them really helpful at night because the lights are into the boot as well and also on the ground so it illuminates pretty much the entire bag now in order to close the boot all you have to do is press a button out here and it will just close the tail gate but it will take a little while but otherwise you can also manually push the tailgate and you can close it now at the back you would also find these graphite covered tail the, the, the exhaust tips and they they are twin exhaust tips but one more thing that the, that is to be mentioned is that you get the, there is no gap between the the cover and the, the exhaust pipe so usually you would find when the manufacturers put a chrome tip or or a graphite tip like this there there tends to be a gap between the pipe and the, the tip and that looks really ugly but in this case it is pretty much covered and all the gaps you would there, there are no visible gaps between the pipe and the tip and that is why it looks really cool when you see it from a distance and these are your parking sensors and also there is a reversing camera this car comes with a single camera reversing system the first thing that i like the most is that the the, the interior is completely black there is no other color that they've used apart from a few chrome trims here and there that they've used for borders and you know lining them around with some other cup holders and everything but otherwise it's everything black and it's all like soft leather touch everywhere even the the, the glossy materials that they've used is also black and that adds a really robust touch to the whole car and also it feels really robust as well when you drive it the instrument cluster is it has a seven inch uh, uh, screen uh, in the middle that shows you everything uh, related to the car what mode you are what is the mileage what is the efficiency what is your there are a lot of details that you can see inside the car as well and also it shows you what if you are in the auto mode what mode you are in say if you are in the off-road mode the car detects all of that on its own and shows you on the screen also your trip information now moving on to the steering wheel the steering wheel feels a little too big to my liking but that is probably because it's an american brand and probably people like to you know choose a bigger bigger steering wheel but also the fact that there is no thumb support out here and that is sometimes quite uh, quite unlike to my taste but I, I would have loved to have some sort of uh, a thumb support out here and on the steering wheel itself you find your cruise control on the si on on your right side which is adaptive cruise control as i mentioned before and the the system is fairly easy to use and pretty uh, pretty understandable when you look at it and on your right hand side you have all the uh, infotainment controls and one clever feature that G the, the, this car has is that the volume control is right where my right hand is flickering right now and also the on your left side you can change the channels and also there is a mute button and also on the other side you can switch between the different modes uh, in terms of source and also there is flappy paddles out here which are metal but then they are too small to my liking again because i would have loved if they had sort of a big chunky ones out here but then that i get the point that they put the media controls out here and that is why the the paddle shifts have to be smaller so the center screen is an 8.4 inch touch screen and it is well built 
uh, and pretty well merged into the entire uh, dashboard as well. Infotainment system is pretty cool in terms of how it is it is made and the improvements inside and there is quite a bit of uh, information available and pretty straightforward you can connect the for the infotainment system with your apps also there's a there's an app called as you control app and you can put that on your phone and control and uh, and sort of uh, display everything on your phone on the screen itself but the screen is a bit glossy sometimes now also even the the, the instrument cluster in the dashboard is glossy and when when during the bright daylight there is quite a bit of reflection from that and sometimes it's really difficult to see the information that is being displayed inside the instrument cluster and also into the dashboard screen as well and you now this car has one of the best navigation systems that i have ever seen it's got such a fine detail that you know if, if there is a sea right next to you it shows the ripple effects in the water it's sort of that detail and it's quite easy to use it's so smooth and it shows you in 3d format 2d format and i think it's one of the best navigation systems that i have seen and it shows that they worked a lot on that system as well you can also control your ac controls through this this car has two types of control one is in the infotainment screen where you can control the ac and also there is a there are physical buttons that you can use to control the ac systems as well and your ac system is fairly straightforward and uh, at the bottom you would find the different types of more where there's a lane assist as i mentioned before the lane assist also works quite well and at par with some volvos and and different brands that are offering currently and i tried them as well and there is also a auto parking mode but then somehow that wasn't working for me i tried it i tried it two three times but then i think because this works probably in the us version but not out here maybe it will take some time for it to start working but there is a mode that is provided and also there is a volume control now this dashboard pretty much is similar to you what you would find in a dodge in a ram in a chrysler so they are, they are, they are, this is a very standard pa standard pattern that you would find in in all these cars the seats are uh, leather seats all, all all the seats that you see in the car are leather seats they are perforated and they are ventilated so you can get yourself cool during the summer as well and not just the passenger and the driver but also the rear passengers get the ventilated seats and that is pretty cool the seats come in eight different combinations which is your uh, move forward and backwards and also up and down and also the incline and recline position and also there is a lumbar support that you can shift up and down and not just uh, the intensity of the lumbar support but also where exactly do you want you can do that and it also comes on the passenger side as well the steering wheel is leather covered and the the steering wheel is heated for some reason and not cooled although i would wish they would put the cool uh, cool uh, sort of feature into the steering wheel as well cooling feature but then they have heated the uh, uh, feature the heated steering wheel but i think that is probably due to the fact that it's it's made for the us version and then maybe they would just change it over the time when they get it out here the gearbox is pretty straightforward you get the pr uh, neutral your drive mode and also there is a sport mode that you can activate so the car comes with different types of modes the rock mode the mud mode the snow mode auto mode and the sna uh, sand mode now all these modes are available also there is a four wheel drive low uh so where you can put the car in the low drive range and that is also available and also there is a hill climb assist and also a hill descent assist as well and also you can raise or lower the height of the car as well and there are three levels of it and uh, during the off-roading session uh, you can raise the height of the car as well now in terms of storage there is quite a bit of storage in the in the door bins as well you can put a big one and a half liter bottle and also some more stuff on both the sides and also at the back and also there is this big chunky hand rest as well which can be opened and there is quite a bit of storage inside as well and also it comes in two sort of different layers where you can put your phone as well and also you can put the big sort of storage inside which can again accommodate about a liter liter and a half worth of a bottle and then there are two cup holders out here there are two cup holders at the back as well and the rear passenger seats as well there is also the normal glove box storage which is right out here and it is quite decent enough to put a lot of stuff now one sort of annoying feature that this car has is that uh, this doesn't have any space to keep your phones there are only 
uh, two uh, cup holders but there are no space to keep your mobile phones and that is the reason I probably use my cup holder to put my phones and there is one one sort of compartment in the front as well when you open there is a USB charger there, there are two USB chargers there is an auxiliary port as well there is also a cigarette lighter or which can be used to charge your phones using a charger as well which is 12 volt 120 watt socket and that I usually use sometimes as well to put my phone or otherwise I use the cup holders to put my phone as well moving at the back there is a lot of space for people behind as well and enough to seat three people properly and also there is this hand rest that I mentioned before with cup holders as well and also you can see the way the seats are shaped so your legs are easily comfortable and not hitting the seats also this seat is in my position which is quite behind as well and for and again there is quite a space out here as well and the seats in general are pretty comfortable and uh, and pretty uh, good for a long cruise as well now there is also this handle in case you go off-roading and you want to hold something onto so there is no handle out here but instead the handles are put out here which are pretty robust and they, they seem to be lasting quite well as well there is also this cool little hanging feature where you can hang your uh, your your coat or something and then there is also this this small reading lights on both the sides as well and apart from that it's a pretty cool uh, backspace as well and also there is air conditioning for the the rear passengers as well and also two usb ports and also the control for your ac the ventilated seats as well and you get apart from that quite a quite a robust material at the back as well soft touch out here as well and also the the store the door bins have uh, the storage capacity as well to hold a, a one and a half liter bottle as well. The Jeep Grand Cherokee and especially the S Limited has always been a premium product from the Jeep lineup and everything is so well made. It's pretty quality, it's robust and built to last for a longer time as well and it's pretty premium in terms of its feel. But the more important question is how well does it really drive? Now powering this car is a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 petrol engine which produces 293 brake horsepower and 347 newton meters of torque and this engine is mated to an 8 speed automatic gearbox and after that there is a differential which is a quad, quad tra, quadra, tra, I'm sorry quadra tech to four wheel drive system now if you ask me the the whole package works really fine and i mean it does return an average of about six to seven but you can do it up to nine you can go up to nine as well if you drive it carefully but i mean if you ask me in terms of the engine the the engine is pretty responsive because press the throttle it takes half a second to respond but it responds really well it just lifts off like that like a bullet and a car this big it's just pretty pretty good the way it just manages the whole power flow from the engine to the gearbox to the transmission now if I put it into the sport mode the response system just slightly increases in terms of how the, the throttle response happens there is a bit of a steering stiffness as well but otherwise when I use the paddle shift there is also a, a, a very half a second kind of lag between the, 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 the change of gears and as a result of that even if you are on the sport mode it feels a little laggy sometimes the system but bear in mind this car is an SUV and I would classify it as a luxury SUV and to be doing all of this and also doing off-roading and also doing your daily job it's a fantastic thing and after that there is the suspension and they are air suspension with the coils and you have an anti-roll bar as well and the whole setup is pretty neat and there is bare minimum amount of roll when you go off-roading or when you are driving normally or taking a turn and apart from that the, the steering which in itself is pretty light and the car really disguises its weight quite well from the steering you cannot figure out that it's a very heavy car because it's so quiet inside as well so that is the reason you won't even figure out that uh, you are driving such a big thing unless you notice that you are at such a height and you are driving an SUV after that but 
otherwise i i think every the whole package is very well made and and especially the improvements in terms of the s limited you can feel it the power delivery is pretty neat it's pretty straightforward and it is right on point i would say i tried uh, taking the car off roading for a while but then it's it's i would say it's quite well when it comes to tackling the off road uh, uh, the hard surfaces but when it comes to the sand it was a little edgy and was a little nervous and for the fact that it even tried to uh, i was in the low gear range by the way and also in the proper setting as well where it was on the sand mode but the car seemed a little hesitant to go inside and then it was not a very deep sort of sand but pretty light layer of sand that was just flat and not a dune bashing or anything sort of thing but at that point of time i just decided to back off except for the part of the sand where it was a little nervous when it came to handling the the sand bit but otherwise when it comes to the rock or even the the slippery surfaces it, the the car was pretty well capable in deciding how much power to put the reversing camera out here is also of pretty low quality i'm afraid because the the screen is pretty good because it's such a nice screen that they put and it's pretty clear pretty crisp but it's a shame that they did not put a, a nice bit of camera as well to complement the whole system as well because if they had done that this would have been the most perfect sort of reversing camera system i think in terms of braking performance the car's brakes are pretty cool it comes with four ventilated brake disc systems and they work quite well the car has a lot of safety features as well it comes with dual airbags which is for the passenger and the driver as well there's also curtain airbags for the passenger and the the driver as well there is abs there is vehicle traction system your traction control and also the hill assist feature and that also works quite well but apart from that this car comes pretty much loaded with a lot of technological stuff and the modern things that you require uh, from a car if you ask me this car is pretty good in terms of everyday use because it's got a pretty mixed character where you can use it as a daily driver and also when you want to take it sort of mile off roading you can take that that as well because it it can handle that pretty well as well a few improvements you are in there but uh, but even without that this car it's pretty capable and it's pretty powerful for everyday use and also it gives me uh, an average of about 7 to 8 kilometers per liter and that is because it's a big quite a big engine which is 3.6 liters and that's a v6 as well it's quite a decent amount of average that it is returning but if you are careful enough to be driving it uh, economically then you can push this car to even more uh, sort of uh, economical range where you can squeeze out around 9 to almost 10 kilometers per liter but I think it's 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 a car worth considering and you get everything from technological side like it's fully loaded in terms of tech it is also luxurious it is robust it is well made and also it it is quite sound proof as well inside the sound system is pretty cool because especially it comes with a subwoofer as well and that is why the whole feel when when you are inside you are just cut off from the world outside and you're just enjoying especially in the adaptive cruise control which takes care how much to speed and how much to keep the distance in terms of the vehicle distance between in the traffic and also stop when there is a red light as well so it's a pretty nice car and i think you should give it a try i hope you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you have and make sure to share and subscribe for more videos to come and i shall see you in the next video bye bye